Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure the notification bell is switched on just to be notified of every single time that i upload now for today's video i have a super excited one because we have a brand new collection by iheart revolution iheart revolution released this absolutely beautiful like butterfly wonderland range and i had to pick up the makeup for you and test it all out because i love iheart revolution and this collection honestly looks so beautiful okay so let me just show you what i got from the collection so firstly they released this butterfly highlighter it is a gorgeous pinky shade and just look at that stunning butterfly detail so this retails for four pounds next they launched this radiant glow fixing spray this is what it looks like hopefully you can see all the shimmer particles floating around in there so i'm intrigued to see how this will look like on my skin this costs six pounds of course they had to release an eyeshadow palette for this collection now i'm not gonna lie this packaging looks very much like normal revolution can you see how it's like a square tin? And also this is eight pounds, which is quite expensive for iHeart Revolution. So this is the color story. I'm not gonna lie, it's absolutely stunning. I love the colors in here. There is also a mirror as well, which I love. They also brought out a mascara. This is the Soft Flutter Lash Mascara. It's all in really stunning soft matte packaging and like all the butterflies are reflective can you see that i really love this this is seven pounds and normally the iheart revolution mascaras are five pounds did you see what i mean like it's like they're using the normal revolution prices 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 for an iheart revolution collection which is a bit strange and then there's two lip products for this collection we firstly have a color changing lip balm and this costs five pounds look how cool this looks don't know if you can see in the actual balm but there's like specks of shimmer in there which is pretty cool and then there's two lip oils in the collection a little bit confusing because that says a butterfly lip gloss however underneath it says lip oil and also on the website it says lip oil there's two shades flutter and wings flutter is this one where it is pretty much like a clear lip oil and wings has a shimmer in it which i actually thought was the one i was getting but clearly not so that's everything i picked up in the collection there's also a makeup brush set which i thought was really expensive for iheart revolution it's 17 pounds 99 like don't get me wrong that is an absolutely beautiful brush set but not for that price and then there's also a makeup sponge for four pounds but i don't need any more brushes and i don't need any more sponges so i decided to skip on the tools but i did pick up everything in the actual makeup department so let's stop rambling and get on into it okay first product i'm going to go in with is the fixing spray it says lock your look in place with this butterfly fixing spray a spritz of this will leave the skin looking and feeling radiant and glowy formula contains soft iridescent shimmer finished with a sweet and floral fragrance I don't know if I like that scent. It doesn't really smell of anything. I don't think that smells sweet or floral. It almost smells like water. That's such a random description, but I don't know. Hmm, weird. Okay, anyway, right, let's spritz this on the spritz this on the face. Yeah, it's got a weird smell, but it feels really nice on the skin and when i look up close it definitely wow it definitely gives me that radiance can you see that on my forehead and yes there is very fine shiver particles on my skin but there's not too much of them which i'm glad because the ones that have the really big chunky shimmer particles and a lot on them it's just so incredibly off-putting so i would never wear them but this, however, is actually very beautiful. And I feel like for a festival or something, or like just in the summer in general, I would wear this out because like the shimmer particles reflect 
in the light. I really like that. And also my makeup now looks like it's really uh, set in place and also properly smoothed out, which I really, really love. I'm wondering if you can see any of the shiver particles. You might not actually on camera, but in person I can definitely see them. I just catch them ever so slightly off the light. But for someone who doesn't typically like shimmer in sprays, I think that's really, really beautiful. And the fact that it's really micro fine, I can get on board with. Okay, I'm gonna put on some of this lip oil on because my lips are really dry. And this is again in the, I don't wanna say shade because it's not really a shade, but the scent flutter. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hit this on. Oh, I didn't sniff it. Oh, that's got a nice scent. So that is the lip oil. I mean, it's just a standard lip oil. It smells really nice. It feels really nice. I like the iHeart Revolution lip oils. I still have all my Flintstones ones and Looney Tunes, and I just know they know how to do a good lip oil. So this one feels really nice and hydrating like they usually do. Okay, a product I'm really excited to try is the highlighter. Now, obviously it does look very pink, but let's see what it looks like on the skin. Just gonna take this on my Revolution, what is this? R5 fluffy highlighter brush. Fingers crossed this doesn't leave a shadow. But let's see. Wow, that is so stunning. What a beautiful pink highlighter. I love that. It really blends in nicely with my blush as well. Let me just have a look at the shadow. Uh, can you tell on camera? I don't know. It doesn't look that bad in real life. If I'm honest, like I would happily go out with this highlighter on. Obviously it's not a bright icy pink highlighter so it's not the most suited for my skin tone but honestly the shadowing is not that bad and it just looks like it's blended in with my blush so I actually like how that looks and do you know what I also love about this is that it is more of that like glowy type highlighter so it gives that more radiant effect kind of like similar to how the other products in this collection are looking so i love this because it's a beautiful glowy pink highlighter so on trend at the moment with all the barbie stuff and i yeah i, I really love this and it's only four pounds as well yes the packaging is you know plasticky and on the more affordable side but at the end of the day the product is really really nice okay because this is a butterfly palette i feel like we do need to do a winged out look so Firstly, I think I'm gonna start off with the shade Evolve and I'm gonna use that to start creating my winged, you know, shadow effect. Okay, next I'm gonna take the shade Beautiful, which is this very beautiful pink shade. And I'm just gonna pop this. Oh, that's a very beautiful <laughs> pink I'm gonna pop this in my crease next I'm gonna take fly high and I'm just gonna blend above where I put that bright pink Then I'm gonna take the shade Grow on a big fluffy brush and just add that to the very top edges. Okay, I'm just gonna go back through all the shades and make sure the blend is all seamless, but if I'm honest, it's like it doesn't even need that much blending, but I'm still gonna, still gonna do it anyway. Then I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of the shade Transform, which is the deepest berry toned in the palette. And I just wanna deepen this. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna go in with a better brush than that. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this on my lower lash line as well. And I'm doing my lower lash line earlier than normal, but I need it to kind of connect the dots. Oh, 
almost just kind of blending that grow shade into my temples just to make sure this is all blown out. I'm also going to add a tiny bit more highlighter so it kind of like blends into that outer part, you know. Okay, now we're going to try a couple of the shimmers. So firstly, I'm of course going to take the shade Angel, which is a stunning gold shade. Now, I'm not going to lie, these do look like difficult kind of shimmers to use but I don't want to prejudge yeah it's a like a chunky putty situation you know how I feel about those but I'm just gonna add this to like the front half of my lid I'm also just going to kind of blend that shimmer a bit higher just because this is going to be, you know, a pretty shimmery sort of look. So I don't mind if it goes up quite high. I'm also going to take a little bit of this shade Love. I don't know how this is going to work. But I thought oh yeah, it's definitely more of that normal type of shimmer. I'm just going to use it to blend the edges of the gold into with the matte pink like so just out of interest i'm gonna use my finger but wow i mean look at this oh oh my goodness i have so much fallout it is unreal i mean look at that that is super foily and pigmented well okay for the inner corner and brow bone i mean I, obviously i would prefer a lighter shimmer in here but i'm gonna take spread wings okay so this is my completed look with the eyeshadow palette i'm loving the whole winged out blend into the temple vibe i'm not gonna lie the shimmers were um, interesting. Definitely recommend doing your eyes before your base when you use this palette, just because, I mean, look at the state of that angel shade. The, the shimmer just goes absolutely everywhere. Really, really chunky. Definitely recommend doing your eyes first, because otherwise you'll just be left with so much fallout. But other than that, the quality is really, really good. This is such a stunning pink eyeshadow palette and I love pink eyeshadow. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the mascara. This again is what the packaging looks like and this is the wand. This really reminds me of um, a Relove mascara, the high rise one. And that is actually a really nice mascara. So hopefully this is good as well. Okay, so this is the mascara on, and as pretty as this looks, um, the actual process to get it to like this took me about five minutes. It's a very much buildable, natural looking mascara, which I mean, I guess is perfect for the theme. This also really reminds me of Relove High Rise, and that mascara is £3.50, and this one is £7. So I feel like if you've got the Relove High Rise, then you don't need this one. Could just be me, but I, I get so much resemblance between the two. I do like how my lashes are looking right now. Like, that is a really, really nice mascara. However, it just took so long, and I prefer my very much fast-paced, fast-paced, like fast-working fast results kind of mascaras. So if I'm in the mood to sit there to build my mascara for five minutes, then I will reach for it again. But it is quite a wet formula, so it kind of just like slips off the lashes for the first sort of couple coats. And if you let it dry, that's when the mascara builds. So you do generally have to take your time with this to build it up to like get this sort of result. But okay, last thing I'm gonna go in with is the lip balm, because this is actually color changing. So I can only imagine that this is gonna turn a pink color. So I have got a lip liner with me. This is the Love Island Revolution lip liner in the shade Islander. It's just like a nice pinky nude sort of colour so I thought hopefully it will work with the lip balm. In fact actually let me just swatch this on my my hand. Yeah so can you see there it has like the tiniest pink sheen to it. 
doesn't smell of anything. Okay, let's pop some lip liner on. I've not put loads on, just enough so you can hopefully see the nice lip balm. So let's apply. Okay, so that is the lip balm on. I will say there's like a speck that's right at the tip of the lip balm. You probably won't be able to see that, but it's genuinely like scratching my lip when I was applying that. So I do not think this is probably something i'm going to reach for an awful lot i've got a speck of glitter here a speck of glitter here one here and i think that's it so i've got like three specks of glitter on my lips which i mean is very very cute and i think if you if you had someone of the younger audience that loved makeup but you didn't want them to wear too much or they're just getting into makeup. I think this would be such a cute little lip balm for them. Okay, so this is my finished look with the new iHeart Revolution Butterfly Wonderland collection. Let me know down below what you think. I would love to know. Now let's just sit down and talk about everything very quickly the so collection as a whole super cute i really love it i think it's very beautiful packaging is cute pretty i love that the items from the collection that i absolutely love and 100 percent would recommend and use again the highlighter the eyeshadow palette the fixing spray and the lip oil. The not so much items are the mascara and the lip balm. The mascara is just not my favorite type of mascara, hence why it's not one of my favorite items. It's nice for like natural everyday sort of lashes and for days that I can be bothered to sit there and build my mascara for five minutes. And the lip balm, I would probably skip this all together. And to be honest, I can't really see myself reaching for this again. It's a cute idea, but I definitely think it's something for like the, a younger audience or someone that's like just getting into makeup. Okay, so those were my final thoughts and opinions on the new iHeart Revolution Butterfly Wonderland collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Let me know down below what you think it's a collection. I would love to know your opinion. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.